Please help me welcome to center stage head men's swim and dive coach, Adam Cohen. Adam, you love DePauw. You came to us as a football coach and you're being honored today as our men's swim and dive coach. Beyond sport technique, what values and traits did you try to instill in your student athletes and why was that important to you? That's a really good question. You know, as coaches, we spend a fair amount of time in staff meetings talking about what we hope our kids get out of our sports, whether it's reduced high-risk behavior or uh, inclusion, different values we try to stress. But we never talked about how we prioritize those values. And it's maybe something we should because we can't do it all. Sometimes people want coaches to be everything, and we just can't be. I think for me, you have to remember my background is in football, and I've been very fortunate to be coached all the way back in high school by coaches that really valued the team and making everyone a part of it. When I came over to swimming my second year at DePaul, I was really caught off guard by the lack of a team concept. And to me, that's what I've tried to and still on the guys, they're part of a team. We're part of something much bigger than ourselves. And when we do the right thing, we're incorporating others into ourselves. And that's what we stand for. It's that team idea. Um, yeah, it's the team. The name Adam Cohen reaches far beyond a paw swimming and into the broader campus and Greencastle community. You're a relationship master. Why was it important for you to be engaged in the community? I like the word relationship master. And you didn't call me yeah, just a politician. But I think, you know, it's interesting. When I came to DePaul, I grew up in the city of Cleveland. And I ended up out here. There wasn't another Jew, Jewish person in sight. And I really wanted a life that wasn't at DePaul. I didn't want to go home every night and discuss the Mon Bell football game. But um, I had to look for ways to get involved in the community. And I think a lot of our student athletes go through the same problem when they get their first job. And I always tell them, you know, you're not going to meet friends at a bar. You meet people doing the things you like doing, whether it's you like going to church, go to church. You'll meet people like you there. You like volunteering, do that. Well, my real interest is in youth, and uh, I started thinking that if I got involved in youth baseball, I would meet their parents, and that would be my segue into the city. Uh, and that's what happened. I got involved in youth baseball. I started umpiring, then I started coaching it, and I really loved it. It was a great experience. Some of those young men I'm still friends with today, but their families started inviting me over to eat and I started meeting other families in town, and it kind of endeared me. You know, to being a relationship master, I think that's a little overrated. The truth of the matter is, you know, it's like work in a room. You go in a room and you, can you meet everybody? I truly hate that. I find it hard, but Lombardi, even Lombardi once said about leadership, leaders are made, they're not born, and they're made like everybody else by hard work. And it's just something I worked at over the years. When you sit down with somebody as a recruiter, when you sit down with a constituent, when they're coming to you as a council person, or just anybody's coming to talk to you, you have to look at, put yourself in their shoes. What is it for them? And that's the most important thing to meeting people, letting them feel comfortable and knowing you want to hear what they need. What do you like to binge watch on TV? Well, people that know me know I love horror. Uh, I'm a Stephen King freak. I've read most every one of his books, including the entire Dark Tower series. Uh, I just finished binge watching V Wars, Vampire Wars, and I really enjoyed it. Unfortunately, right now I have a lot of time to binge watch, and I do it. I'll stay up way too late at night, watching a couple horror movies in a row. And it's just something I enjoy. It's a great genre, the horror genre. Now is an opportunity for you to take just a few minutes to provide thank yous to others and provide us with some closing comments. Well, I think the first thing I'd say is, you know, I don't sit up here alone. 
I'm very aware that I'm internally in the debt of many of the people I coached, uh, the people that mentored me, going all the way back into high school to Coach Spicer, Walton, and Brandt. They took very good care of me and kind of mentored and helped shape me. What people don't realize is how long I've been at DePaul. I was actually interviewed for the position here by Tom Mont, and I came to DePaul under Ted Catula. But the three people I coached with football were Coach Morosis, Coach Meyer, and Coach Reha. And they were great mentors to me when I was younger, helping me kind of find my way, not only as a technical coach, but as a coach who recruited and a coach who mentored his student athletes. You know, unfortunately, all three are gone now, but I was very fortunate to have them along with many of the early student athletes I got to coach. None of us stand alone. I, uh, there's two quotes I always like. My swimmers are going to groan. But uh, one is, there's a destiny that makes us brothers. None stands, goes his way alone. All that we send in the lives of others comes back into our own. And I think that's a very true. It dates back to Lincoln's time. But I think it's a very true quote. Whatever we send into somebody else's life will come back to us. The other one's from my high school. The better the next generation shall introduce its successor to a higher plane of life. We have a responsibility to help lift up those behind us and mentor them, just like those people mentioned me, and I'm very grateful to all of them. Adam, on behalf of the Board of Directors of the DePaul Athletics Hall of Fame, welcome as one of our newest members Thank you. of our Hall of Fame. Well, that's cool. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Stevie. You're welcome.